Throughout internet history, countless creepypasta-esque beings have been created to entertain, frighten, and interest people all over the world. However, something new has been making its rounds on the internet lately. Something far more mysterious and perplexing than the rest. Today, we investigate the story behind the one and only The date is November 2nd, 2018. Trevor Henderson, freelance horror artist, responsible for the likes of Siren Head and Longhorse, uploaded a series of three images to his social media accounts. In these photographs, we see what looks to be a towering figure, shrouded in red, with only its face peeking out. Judging by the height of the doorway in the second image, it's safe to assume this thing is roughly 14 feet tall. And if you look closely at its face, you will also see it has a distorted monotonous expression, kind of similar to No Face from Spirited Away, but more on that later. Unfortunately, after hunting through the events of August 13th, 1998, digging through Trevor's Tumblr, Instagram comments, and even Twitter replies, I didn't find a single true fact about this entity. So here I am now, simply left with just theory and speculation. Like all of Trevor's monsters, this one doesn't exist, but it's fun to explore their potential backstories and the inspirations behind them. The very first thing I thought of when gazing at these photos was Little Red Riding Hood. No, not the innocent children's fairy tale, but the 10th century European legend titled The False Grandmother. In this tale, an ogre kills Little Red's grandmother, pretends to be her when Little Red arrives, cuts up, cooks, and serves the grandmother's body parts, then proceeds to eat the little girl afterwards. Of course, comparing the false grandmother story to the ghostly figure we see here isn't by any means factual. However, we can piece together a few similarities between the two, such as the entity being spotted in wooded areas, gowned in red that frowns over the head as a hood, and also the mask-like face, as if the spirit is pretending to be something it's not. But speaking of masks, that leads me into the second theory. As stated earlier, No Face is an antagonist from Studio Ghibli's 2001 motion picture, Spirited Away, and when comparing the faces of these photos, you may see a slight resemblance. According to the fan wiki, No Face is described as a dark spirit who resembles a black humanoid being with a white mask. He devours other spirits and can absorb their emotions into his own soul, causing him to take on their attitudes. Other than the mask-like face, there are no other similarities between the two figures, but imagining this thing as a spirit devourer is something that could make a great story. But sometimes, you don't have to dig deep to understand these monsters. Sometimes, the answer is much simpler than it appears to be. Taking one last glance at these three images, I believe it's safe to say that this thing is meant to be mysterious and the lack of information proves that. As expected, I did attempt to Google the events and tragedies that occurred on August 13th, 1998, unfortunately to no avail. But if you scan through Trevor Henderson's other cryptids, 
you will see he has crafted a few other tall, shrouded creatures, very much in line with the same mysterious qualities we witness within the figure. So if I had to take a guess, the entity shrouded in red is whatever the artist intends it to be. But for us, his audience, it's up to us to respect the ambiguous meaning behind such monsters, and to not craft our own lore into them, as that only separates the art from the artist. But as always, thank you for watching, and good night.